What's up, garment decorators? We're here to talk to you today about some dye sublimation. Did you know you can dye sublimate on more than just 100% white polyester t-shirts? I'm AJ, this is Kirk. We're gonna show you today on how to do different blends of t-shirts and a wide range of colors. First, we pressed 100% polyester t-shirts. You can see we did white, a Columbia blue, and a dark gray. All the same exact print. And as you can see with 100% polyester, after you wash, the color stays the same. You're never gonna have any fading when you use 100% polyester, but you are gonna have the different contrast of the color coming through the inks. As you can see here on this white, the colors were super vibrant. You know, white is the best for colors, but also there's some cool effects on the Columbia blue. I really like the colors. I like it. The look is what, you know, it makes it totally different. As you can see, the colors, even between the yellows on the gray, totally different. So what we did is we went and found some tri-blends because I like more of a softer shirt. I'm kind of the guy that kind of t-shirt snob, so I like that type of stuff. So we went and found some tri-blends and these are like 75% polyester. They got 12% of the rayon and also 13% of your cotton. And so you look at it as like when I press this, I mean, that, what do you think? I mean, it's, it's cool. It's, it looks good. But when you washed it, we're gonna have a little bit of fading to it, but I think it still overall looks great. So obviously you can do traditional white, but then you also, when you're washed look, you're gonna have a little bit of fading. I'm a big fan of the sublimation on color, kind of gives you that little bit more to offer your customers. have on my favorite 50% polyester 25% cotton and 25% rayon it's another style of tri blend but it's really nice as well it has a really fresh look when you press it so don't get used to that because as soon as you wash it you're gonna get that better cool of a washout look that a lot of people are going for these days I like it I mean I like the feel I think it kind of has that faded look or it looks like the garments broke in when you're pressing, AJ, do you prefer to use, like, when you tack stuff down? You know, I'm a guy that likes to use the spray. What about you and, the, and what else do you use? I like using the thermal tape. We have green and clear. Um, typically green is used more often just so you can see it on any color garment, but that's what I like. I like the tape. It's tried and true. And the spray is your favorite. I like to use the spray a little bit so you can just kind of tack it along the, on top of the paper and it holds it in place. You don't have to use the tape. Just a light mist on the paper and it tacks it right in place so you don't have anything jumping off or ghosting. So more versatile for me because I'm doing kind of back and forth. 
but whichever you use, obviously, still get the same results as you can see. So now, AJ, let's just talk a little bit about pricing and make sure that everybody understands. Like now, we're using a lot nicer garments. They're tri blend, so we have a little bit higher end shirts. So obviously, you factor in obviously your time and your inks and your paper. But now you have the garment that's a little bit higher price. So don't forget, now you're having a very nice garment, so you can charge more and get more for it. So obviously, make sure you're getting what you're worth on these garments and everything else you're doing, because this is nice stuff I and mean, it's neat. So you can get all these different styles of garments that you saw here today by going to heattransferclothing.com and anything in the dye sublimation world that we talked about with the spray or the mist, paper or ink by going to heattransferwarehouse.com. Thank you decorators for watching our video today. Hopefully we taught you a little bit more about dye sublimation. You can check out this video more by going and subscribing to our YouTube channel, like and share and give us a thumbs up on all of our videos. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.